Hi there, Neil Clark of Falkirk Piping, formerly Great Glen Piping. We can be reached at www.falkirkpiping.com or on Facebook as Falkirk Piping and Glenbervy Folk Duo. Here on the channel you'll see that there are, at present anyway, over 1,200 videos. These are there in the main as aid memoirs for lessons that have been taken by my pupils. I teach at home and I teach over Skype on the internet. Due to continued pressure, we've decided to actually start putting a couple of uh, lessons on. Uh, this is the introduction video and it's, it's basically a, a what to do before you even start learning the pipes. Now I'm going to put my, my neck right out there and say please get yourself a tutor. Whether it's someone from your local band, someone who teaches over the internet, or someone who teaches full time like myself. There are lots of us all over the world. You can be self-taught. In fact, there are some individuals who are self-taught and quite happily put out instructional videos on the net. Let me tell you from a piping point of view, with very few exceptions, these are not good players. Just be very, very careful where you go. So, you want to learn pipes. You need, you don't, first of all, the thing you do not need is these guys, bagpipes. You won't be needing these for at least six months, possibly two years. Whenever you're ready to move on to pipes, then it's time to think about a set of pipes. That's a different matter altogether. What you need to start is this instrument here, which is the practice chanter. It doesn't have to be as ornate as this particular instrument. It doesn't have to be a long practice chanter like this guy here. What's the main difference? The main difference is this guy costs more. You can be quite happy with a bog standard black plastic uh, practice chanter available from piping outlets please not general music shops you will almost certainly end up with an instrument of inferior quality what should come with the instrument is a reed this particular reed I'm going to shamelessly promote this guy because I've been using this style of reed since 1972 and I have found Fraser Warnock of Northern Ireland to produce the best reed for my purposes. Uh, I've had a reed, this particular one, uh, has been in there for a couple of years. I once had one in for six years. Uh, I'm really happy with the sound in conjunction with this practice chanter. There are lots of other reeds throughout the world. I haven't tried them all. This is my favourite. That's Fraser Warnock of Northern Ireland. Together with the practice chanter, you will need a tutor book. This is the most common one in the world. It's the College of Piping Tutor Book 1. Now, at the time of making this video, the College of Piping has been taken over by the National Piping Centre, so whether this book remains is, is open to question. It, it may well do. The National Piping Centre produce their own tutor book. This is the National Piping Centre's. Robert Wallace, just purely for an example, produces his own. Robert is the ex-principal of the College of Piping, and he's really condensed. He's produced this much, much smaller book. Everything's in it that you need. It's available from Robert himself. And just to bring in something from the past, this is the Logan's Tutor. Yes, you can still use it. It's a bit dry, and uh, you might find that the more modern publications are easier to use, particularly for younger people. You can see my name in the bottom there, Neil Clark. Now that's from about maybe 1972 or so. I didn't use this book for teaching, uh, for learning. I was fortunate enough that my teacher uh, wrote everything out uh, for me. So, tutor book, teacher, practice chanter. That's lesson one. That's what you need. And what I'll show you now is what we're going to try and do in lesson two. We're try going to try and do this. That's the bagpipe scale. So, happy shopping for your chanter, tutor book and instructor. And we'll see you in lesson two.